Whoa, what are you, what are you doing? Are you trying to kiss me or eat me? Oh, he's giving me that weird eye. I don't know. What's up, everyone? This is up here. Welcome back to another episode of Art Survival Evolved on the Thieves map, playing the Pugnacia mod. And uh, I'm out here by my new base place, and I kind of came across this guy right here. So we, we upped the dino level on the server to 840 as max. And this guy here is a little bit over 800. He's at 805. It's actually a female. So this girl here is at 805. And gigas aren't the most powerful thing with this mod that we have installed. But it's a giga. It's pretty high. So I want to see if I can't tame it. All right. We got 220,000 topar, so I think we are. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the rifle and uh, take it down with the rifle. Oh, we shot ourselves. There we go. This will probably be the quickest way to take it down. And there it goes, and we were safe up here, so that was really easy. We'll fly on down real quick on our dodo wyvern, and I've got some of the ancient kibble ready to go and that should tame this girl right up real fast so 805 and let's see what she tames out at oh that is a rock guy oh there we go Giga's gonna fight it wow the Giga crushed it alright so she tamed out at 1207 and I really didn't plan on doing a whole lot of taming this episode. But there is a couple of dinos I still want to tame on my list. And I saw one earlier that really struck my fancy. And I like the way it looked. So we found a primeval broodmother a little bit further. I think it's to the west of here. And it looked really nice. So we're going to go back over there and see if she's still there. Let's bring this Giga back to the base and I can kind of show you what I've been working on. Got me stuck. Can I get unstuck? Maybe not. Let's get you to stop following. Alright, and... Get you to refollow. Come on, come over here. Follow me over here. There we go. Alrighty, so we'll leave the dodo wyvern right there. So this is what we're working on. We're going to use some tech stuff on this build, on this base build, and uh, incorporate a couple other things too. I have plans for this, so right now it's incomplete, but uh, we do have plans for that. We also tamed another primeval on Dominus Rex. Since the cap level is 840 now, we went ahead and we got us another one. And this, this guy, I believe it's a guy. Nope, it's a female too. This female tamed out at 1758 after max level and uh, does just under a million damage. So it's 900 something thousand damage is what she does. And this is the front, incomplete of course, but to give you an idea of what we're planning on doing is we're probably going to go ahead and do the panels all the way down to the ground. That way it'll be a solid wall across. And I may even do it on the sides because what we're going to do in the future, just to fill in these gaps here, what we're going to do in the future though is at the back of this, this is kind of a an area for our dinos. So we're going to put a lot of our dinos here. We're going to put the wall around it, just one high. You don't have to put too high because really nothing's going to be able to kill anything that we have, these dinos that we have. But this will kind of be a dino storage area, this whole area here that you see. And then we're actually going to build over this, going over into the water, will kind of be our factory or our work area. So we'll build it out over the water. Probably do something that goes down into the water as well. Because once we get some some water dinos, we'll put them up in here. This will be our little pin area. Excuse me, our little pin area for storage 
and that's the future so far um, believe it or not tiny made it up here now the area we're in there is no ledge or walkway that he could walk up to get up here and I was thinking about going into the tech oh I see another uh, just saw another that's a black one terror bird I think it's black maybe it's a dark green let's see oh it's a green I don't have one of those what level are you homie 545 it's a male too I just got another female a yellow one and she I want to say was 510 I haven't leveled up or at level put any levels in her, but oh no, it's a male too. So I got a female, a male, a male, and that would be another male. Hmm. I really want all the colors though. I just don't want another male. I'd like to do another female. Yeah, it's a male. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway. I was thinking about using the tech teleport because the mod author added it in to our Ingrams now. And at the bottom we have access to the tech teleporter, the tech generator, the Mosasaur tech saddle, and then the underwater tech items as well so that you can build underwater. Um, and there's some other cool stuff that came down with some of these other mods too I'm going to have to show you in some reskins. but some of the th I really want to tame that guy. Hmm. I think I'm going to try it. I found, and I'm hoping this works, I, I found it, it's really a pain to tame those terror birds just because of their circle attack. But I'm thinking, it was an ancient rex. I'm thinking if we use a bola, we might be able to keep it from flying. So. What do we need? Some thatch stone fiber hide. Do we have anything? No, we don't have anything in there. So, a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Oh, did it go over? No. Where's some hide at? A little bit of this. And we need, I think all the stone was actually shifted to this one. I was making cementing paste. We'll go over here. So let's go back and let's do a bola. And we'll make a few of them because I don't have any more on me. Alright, let's just squirt this back in there. Because well, we don't want all this stuff in our inventory weighing us down, so. Alright, we've got six on us. All right, there he is. He's uh, relatively calm now too. So let's see if we can't bola him real fast. That'll make knocking him out a whole lot faster if this works. Oh, and he aggroed. <laughs> if he attacks me, they'll kill him. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna get on the the dodo wyver and let's fly away real fast and hopefully he'll drop aggro and if he does we can uh, fly back and possibly bowl the hill let's see let's see if that worked did he drop aggro yeah it looks like he dropped aggro hmm all right we have to be really accurate with this bowler because if we get too close, he's gonna aggro us just like last time. So let's try this again. But this time, see if we can't be a little bit more sneaky about it. Where's he at? There he is. All right. Alright, that got him. 
And it comes that ancient Rex. So you better stay away, buddy. Two, one more should do it. So this is definitely going to be the best way to tame these guys. Oh, there he goes. All right, let's squirt this at him real fast. And he should tame as soon as he eats. Should have plenty enough time. That ancient Rex shouldn't come bother us. So Bola to tie him down, and then a rifle. Really efficient. It's a green one. So now we have a red, a blue, a yellow, and a dark green. And I want to say there's another color. I could be wrong, though. Either way, though, we have four different color terror birds. That's kind of cool. All right. Go ahead and land. Oh, look at that. He's trying to land with his buddies. It's almost like he knows. There you go. Perfect. So... <clears throat> Back to what we were talking about. Teleporters. So we have the tech teleporter on this mod. Access to it now. And I was thinking about building that. And I typed in teleporter just to see where what we have access to. And I want to see it was on the Ingrams. I was I was just typing in teleporter there. And and this guy came up right here. Pugnacia teleporter. And you make it using the Pugnacia table, that purple table up here. So let's let's go look at that real fast. Using this guy right here, Pugnacia Smithy. And if you go into crafting, and there it is right there. And it's really cheap considering it's only 50 polymer, 100 cement and paste. 100 metal ingots and 25 electronics for one. So you have to make two. So 100 polymer, 200 cement and paste, 200 ingots, 50 electronics. Really cheap. Compared to if you were going to, I want to say, I have to get the tech bench in order for it to. Someone's getting attacked out here. Who's getting attacked? Oh, my bird's getting attacked. Look at him. Either way, the tech teleporter, a whole lot more expensive. So I went ahead and I tried that one. I gave it, I gave that one a try, and uh, he got me bleeding. That's weird. He got my guy down to half health. I guess that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your dinos. So I made the pugnacious teleporter. I made two of them, because the main reason why I wanted to try the tech teleporter was to see if I can get tiny up here because the little bitty teleporters that we have over here they will not teleport tiny they'll teleport some large dinos but tiny is way too big uh, another thing too since we're on this this topic the teleporters it looks like there's something that's been changed with this particular mod of the teleporter when you pull up the teleporter interface before it would just teleport you to its brother or sister teleporter they're the ones that they're linked to because you would name two teleporters the same name and then they would teleport to one another that's that's how that would work uh, now it looks like all the teleporters are linked of this particular type so we have this guy here named new base that's just what we named it stay over there homie don't come over here i'm busy I'm talking and we made two originally when we were doing this and then we had a couple that went up to the metal stone island we had a couple that went over to the bone island and um, that's the community center um, and that's Boone's place but uh, they're all linked now so I can use this teleporter and go to any one of these other teleporters so you don't need two in order to travel between one another you just need one and it links into the whole system so if I wanted to I could go up to the bone island there's one there I could go to community center there's one there I could go to Boomin's place there's one and then there's the stone island there's one there so we only have five teleporters now between Boomin and I on this entire map oh somebody's going to bother me get him kill him 
Look at the Anki go. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Let me go get somebody to help him out. Why didn't you help, buddy? Come on. There you go. Get in there. Take him out real fast. Alright. So. Oh, my terror bird flew over here. Come back. I don't know who I just was. I was with somebody. So. That makes it a lot. I guess. It'll be more aesthetic. Because if we wanted to try to travel between all these places from this one location, there would be a whole bunch of those little teleporters on the ground. And now, since they're all linked, there's just going to be that one. And I can teleport to any other teleporter there is, teleporter there is on a map because of the way that it's set up now. So that that's cool. That's a new change. But again, that won't that wouldn't help me transport tiny. So to transport tiny, we went ahead and we tried this one first because it wasn't wasn't that expensive and it was something I haven't played around with. And I thought, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see what this this teleporter can do. So um, we made two. We put one here. We have one at the community center. And uh, when you when you go to access it. It says beam me up Scotty which is kind of nifty a little reference and when you do it little swirlies pop around and you teleport it and when I put tiny on top of it it transported tiny so it looks like it could transport any dino and not just one at a time I guess it depends on how large they are because tiny was the only one that was able to go by himself due to his size but I had four dinos on this particular pad and wound up transporting all of them at the same time so it <clears throat> it works pretty well um, let's let's put two rock golems on it we can show you how it works this fog is horrible you can barely see I know it's gonna be horrible on camera but alright so we have one rock golem and let's go grab the other rock golem Oh, this rock golem stuck inside of blue. Can we jump out? Nope. Alright. Let's try this. Let's... Alright. Why don't y'all come over here? It doesn't matter which one. I hope that works. <clears throat> oh, the fog's clean up a little bit. Alright, so we got both rock golems now. Let's see if we can... These are quite large. Let's see if we can do two at one time. That would be kind of cool. Um, let's back you up just a little bit. Move you forward just a little bit. Oh, I didn't mean to eject. Alright. And let's get right in between. Let's see how this... Let's see if we can do all three of us. Oh, there's one. Yep, it did all three of us. So, would you be able to do that with that guy? Yes, with these. But with this guy? No. Now, will the tech teleport porter teleport Tani? I don't know. Um, I haven't made one yet. <clears throat> but this is cheap, and it works, and it'll transport this guy. So, I may not make a tech teleporter just because. That was so cheap, and for any other reason to teleport anybody, I can move around the entire map now with just one of these in my area without having to have a whole line of different teleporters for different areas. It's a lot more efficient. So, Pugnacia Teleporter, highly recommend it. Was very, very nice. Um, cheap resource wise, as we said multiple times already, and can teleport. As big as a Titan sword, then that's that's insane. So, look at these Allosaurus. Let's kill these guys real quick because they're gonna come over here. There we go. All dead. So, 
Let's go see if we can find that primeval brew mother that I was talking about. Because that's something I want to tame today. And uh, let's see if uh, we can get that done. If we say something else cool, we may tame something else. But uh, I really don't want to tame all episode. And that's all I've done so far is tame. Tame two things already. And we're about to go tame a third. So accidentally hit the teleporter. Uh, did you teleport anybody? No? Good. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so where is my Dodo Wyvern? There he is. Okay. So I'm going to grab my Dodo Wyvern and we'll fly out to where that primeval brew mother is and I'll come back then. So I'll be your beast. Alright, and we're back. So flew out to this area here and there's actually two brood mothers out here two brood mothers out in this area now um, both 840s but that's the one I really liked right there because it's really pretty and colorful so we're just gonna kill this one I don't want two female I don't know if they make a male brood mother I guess we'll find out eventually but this they're both female so we're just gonna tame one female brood mother no point in having two female brood mothers. Alright. So are you on passive? Yes. All right. Let's get our gun out real quick. Let's track her down. Where yet? There you are. Alright. Come on this way. Get her away from that other stuff if we can. She's not paying us any attention. I don't want that guy to come bother us while we're doing this. There's a couple more hits. Tell you what. Get sleepy. Oh, we're out of ammo on that guy now. That was alright. We'll shoot her with this one. She's gotta be getting close to being sleepy now because we popped her a bunch of times. Let's see. What are we looking at? Oh yeah, she's real close, so this won't be too bad. What are you attacking? I don't want you to get attacked. Let's see. Come on. Go down. Come on, go down already. Aw, oh, leave those guys alone. Get sleepy. Is he sleepy yet? No, not yet. Oh, oh, she hit us with some web. We're fine. All right. Let's see if we can't get her tamed up real fast. That was easy. No more epic music. We don't need it. She's tamed up. What about this guy? I, I just knocked you out so you wouldn't bother us. Oh, you're level 30. Really? You suck. Well, let's just kill you. Actually, we're going to be merciful. I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to let him wake up on his own. So, let's go ahead and do this. And look at the stats. So, 192,000 health. Looking at 11,000 carry weight, 1,232% melee damage, 117.9% movement speed. So let's see, can we ride without a saddle? Yes. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Most of the prime evils are 17,000 damage, is what it seems like. So she is kind of slow though, because this is her fast run. That's her left click. Right click is web. Okay. I like that. What about C? C is the green stuff. What about X? No X? Okay. So I wonder if C does a topor thing. No, nothing there. Let's see what C does. That's a lot of damage. Oh yeah, it hits for topor too. Nice. Okay. So, 
We need to get this guy leveled up, or this girl leveled up, actually. And she looks really cool. Let's get you off a of follow. I like the colors. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to tame this one, because the bright blues, the bright reds. Even the face, a little green, a little striations. You see a little detail green striations on the leg there? It changes down to kind of a peachy kind of tip. Very colorful, very nice. Um, so we're going to bring her out to the island and uh, get her leveled up. Max out her melee, max out her stats. Uh, doing 17,000 damage right now, so we'll see what she maxes out at, and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna level her up, max her out, and I'll be our beast. All right, and we're back. Let's kill this T-Rex real fast. Not quite maxed out yet, but her melee damage is maxed out, so she's only doing 893,000 damage only. Now, some of the other guys are doing over 900,000, almost a million. She's doing 893, still not bad. But I have found, if you want to level up a dino really fast on this particular island, um, just steal an egg. And what happened is, all the drakes should come rushing at me now. So, and we'll just go ahead and kill all of them. Oh, there's a bone wyvern. Alright, any others? Oh, yep, there's some more. All right. I've I've done this tactic and stolen an egg and uh, seen the entire island of Wyverns come at me before. At one time, it was at least 10, 12 Wyverns at once. And it, it gets the experience job done really fast. Uh, see, she's maxed out now, so uh, let's go ahead and pump the rest. Four million health. Speed is still... Eh, meh, not great. So, I think we'll pump more speed than health. Since we already have melee max, she has 4,000 carry, 40,000 carry weight. Let's let's see how much speed we can put into her before if it gets too hard to handle. So, it's 300%. Let's do 400%. Uh, let's see what that's like. Okay, that's regular, and that's sprinting. Actually, I think that's good. Yeah, because any more than that, it's going to get too crazy. So, all right. So, what other stats can we use? Stamina, no. Food oxygen, no. Uh, melee is maxed. Weight's at forty thousand. Really, don't need to pump it any higher than that. Uh, let's just go ahead and pump the rest in the health then. So, let's see what it looks like. Let it catch up. Alright, so it's going to be... There's a glitch when it levels up for some reason. It says 6,672,000, but it's going to be 6,516,000. Um, I don't know why, but that some for some reason there's a little, little glitch or twerk when it comes to the health. Because uh, right, we, we'll waste one of these even. See, so yeah, it won't heal at all. It's supposedly going to heal all the way up. It's maxed out. So 6,516,000 is max. Eventually these two numbers will match once uh, some time goes by. Um, another way I saw that it was matching is if I pump points here and then I pump points somewhere else, it would reset. Stop that. It would reset it then. But um, let's go ahead and pick this girl up and we'll get on our wyvern and go back to base. So, when I get back to the base, I'll be back then. So, I'll be our beast. And we're back. Back at the base with the Broodmother, the Giga, and the Terror Bird we tamed. Oh, what, what are you doing? Are you trying to kiss me or eat me? Oh, he's giving me that weird eye. I don't know. <laughs> Either way. Alright, got a lot of things done. Tamed a few animals. We did build it, but it was off camera. Y'all didn't get to see that much. But I do plan on doing some more off cam. We'll get this finished. We'll start expanding on the workshop. Start getting that in place. 
and start getting some more cool things tamed as well so uh, for now we still have to get a level the Giga uh, we did go ahead and name him and we went ahead and we named the brew mother so the brew mother is named Charlotte and the Giga is Gazira so so I have to figure out a name for this guy and I don't know if I ever told you I named the the Dodo Wyvern but he looks very clownish so we need him Bobo Bobo the uh, Dodo Wyvern but that's gonna be it guys uh, if you like the episode please smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't share the videos you see fit and as always I'll see you in the next video peace <laughs>